Hello friends, I, Dimple Ahuja, have prepared an online e-commerce website on Handicraft. Using Java server side technology with different Spring Framework module such as Web MVC ORM, JDBC security and a web flow for database related activities. I have also used Hibernate which is our ORM tool that will map our object to the relational table. For the front end designing, I have used HTML5, CSS3, Bootstrap3 to make my website look more responsive and attractive. For the back end, I have used H2 database. This is our landing page. Here is the logo. This is our nav bar. The glyph icon added to it makes it more attractive. This is our carousal which will move after a particular period of time. Below the carousal, there are the mostly viewed products of our website. At the bottom, there is a footer. By clicking on this button, it will redirect you to the view products page. Let's move back to our home page. Switching over to the about us page, you can view the complete description of our website. Let's now click on the contact us page. This is our contact us page. You can type any message, query or the information, any suggestions that you want to give for our website so that the concern authority can look over the matter and can fulfill your needs. Let's switch over to the view products page. Here are all the products that are available in our website. Clicking on this next button, you can search more and more products. By selecting these three records, you can view only the three records at a particular time. Clicking on five records, you can view only the five record at a particular page. Clicking on the search button, you can search any product according to your wish. Like I am searching wooden wear. You can see the particular product has been searched for me. This is our breadcrumb that provides me the link that where I am actually on. I am on this all product page so it is showing me the all products. I can search according to the particular category. If I click on this wooden product, it will display me only that particular category products. Along with that, you can also see the change in our breadcrumb. It is showing me from the home, I have selected a particular category and from there, I have selected this particular category wooden products. If I click on this fashion bag, it will display all the fashion bags and the breadcrumb has also been changed. You can also view the two buttons that are available here. If I click on this particular button, let's see what will happen. It will redirect me to a single product page with the image available and the complete description about the particular product with the price quantity available. Let me go back. I can sort here from this button. Alphabetically, the names will be sorted. Brand will be sorted alphabetically. Accordingly, the price will be sorted from the lowest to the highest and the quantity will be sorted. Let me show you by name. You can see the names are sorted according to the alphabetical order. Now, if I click on this green button that is an add to cart button, it will redirect me to the login page. But let me log in with this button. If you are the regular customer of our website, you can type the email, password and do the further processing. But if you are not the regular customer, you have to register yourself first to do the further processing. 
and enjoy shopping. Let me register as a new user. I'm typing a name. Before that, I want to show you something. If I don't want to type the personal details, let me see what will happen by clicking on this next button. You can see some validations that are appearing here in this red with the text written here. It is showing me the Hibernate validation that I added in my website that I cannot leave any blank empty. Let me type the name as Maya Ahuja email contact number I'm adding the password let me confirm the password let me click on this next button I have to enter the address this is my billing address Take me into the city. Postal address, state, country, absolutely correct. Let me move to the next, next button. You can now make any changes by clicking on this edit button if you wish to do so. If you had made something wrong either in the name email, contact, or in any billing address details and do the further processing. Let me now click on this confirm button and see what will happen. You can see. Let me show you something that whether my data has been recorded in the database or not. Let me type a query. Going down. Yes, you can see the data of the user has been recorded in our database with the name as Maya Uja, email ID, contact number, and the role as a user, and the password in the encrypted format. This is possible through Spring Security. Let me check the address also. Yes, you can see the address has also been recorded. Let us go back. Click on this login button. Enter the name. I have made some mistake. It is showing me that whether I have added the wrong username or the password. Let me write once again. Let me click on this login. Yes, you can see the user has been added. Let us check. You can see by clicking on this button, the cart is empty. Let's do some shopping. Mm. I want to buy this Chapuri stool. I'll view it. Click on this add to cart button. You can see the cart has been updated and the product has been added in my wish list. Let me buy this handbag also. You can see again the cart has been added. 
I have added the two product. Let me check. Yes, the quantity has been increased and the grand total is also available here. If I want to select five handbags, click on this refresh button. It's giving me an error that I cannot select more than three. Okay. Now let's check. You can see the cart has been updated successfully. Let me check out now. Now let me add the address. Three G one twenty two house number entering the city. Faridabad, postal address, state, country, absolutely correct. Let me click on this pay button. You can see the order has been confirmed. You can check this invoice. The order number is 44. This is our shipping address. The date. The method is through payment card and the email id you can also see the quantity grand total by clicking on this button it will redirect you to the view products page let me now log out And switch as an admin. You can see here earlier when I switched as a user, it was only displaying the view product option, but now here is the manage product also available. And there is no cart option, only the logout button is available. At the bottom, I like to show here in the view products page also. You can see there was an add to cart button, but now there is an edit button available here. The major difference between the user and the admin is that the admin can perform the various functionality which are different from the user. The user can do the shopping, view the product, add the product in the cart list or buy the product. But on the other hand, the admin can add the product, delete the product, edit some products, update the product and do various other functionality because he is a superior and has whole power on his website. Let me now show you one more thing. By clicking on this edit button, you can edit anything from here. Let me edit this out of stock and add some quantity. Let me add two and click on the submit button. You can see the product has been submitted successfully. Let me check in the view product. You can see instead of out of stock, it is showing me the quantity as two. Now let me add some product. First of all, I like to add the category. If I click on this add category option, it is giving me the validation again. Let me add these soft toys. And 
the description. You can see the category has been submitted successfully. Let me check in my view products page. Yes, you can see the soft toy has been added. But when I click on the soft toy, no product has been added. Let me now add the product here. Let me add the product. Entering the name of the product as Teddy brand Zobi product description perfect handicraft for your Let me enter the price. Let me enter the quantity. Let me select the category first. Let me choose an image. Let me click on this submit button. Yes, the product has been submitted successfully. Let's check in our soft toy category whether it has been added or not. Yes, you can see the soft toy has been added. We can view. Now let me delete some product to show you one more functionality. Let me delete this jewelry. Clicking on this toggle button, you can see the pop-up appears. Do you want to deactivate? Clicking on this OK. It is saying yes, your product will be deleted successfully. Yes, you can see. Let me check whether it has been deleted or not. Yes, you can see it has been deleted successfully. Let me now look again at this jewelry. Do you want to activate? Yes. Let me check in my view product. You can see it has been added successfully. Let's go back to our home page. Let me log out. Thanks for watching. Hope you like my video.